Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello there, everybody! It's a beautiful day. And, whew, I want to say a big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for stopping by and tuning in. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different um, because it's such a beautiful day. And I've been grinding pretty hard. Lawn mowers, <coughs> weed eaters. So I thought to myself, why don't we get these subscribers and go out and see if we can't go for a boat ride and catch some fish. That sounded like a good plan to me. How about you? But first, I want to say a big shout out to Les Dunn over in London town by Joe. Over in London, England. Well, hopefully by the end of the day, I'll get some fish and chips. Yeah. So, big shout out to Les Dunn. If you leave it on the grill a little bit longer, you'll get more done. Uh. All right. And then, another big shout out to Gus in Norway. He just happened to notice that I went over 5,000 subscribers and to all of you I want to say thank you so much and I mean that from the heart so a uh, big thank you and a couple videos ago I might uh, did a little bit of a video segment there where I was wearing a, a ball cap and a pretty little purplish t-shirt the fine folks over at Super Clean asked me if we'd try some of their products and give it a review and everything, and I was happy to. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give that hat and we're going to give that t-shirt away to a subscriber. You understand. But here's what you got to do. You got to gotta make a comment on this video down below. And then you got to tell me what your favorite outboard is can be anything. can be a 1962 Evinrude Fast Twin. can be a Honda. can be anything. Force, Gale. Just tell me what your favorite outboard is. And then also, you got to tell me the state you're from or the country you're in. So, just like Gus from Norway did. And Les, from London Town, did by Joe. So if you're from the States, tell me what state you're in. From somewhere else, tell me what country. And then uh, tell me what your favorite outboard is. And if you got a story behind it, that's fine too. So, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do a few more little giveaway things here. Maybe some coffee mugs from the hometown here. I don't know. Something. We'll come up with something. But... Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. And uh, so right now, why don't we head down the dock and get out and see if we can't catch a fish. And at least go give this boat a run. Let's go. And we're going to take the old Bay Runner skiff with the DT-40 Zuki out for a little run. It's a beautiful day. And so, let's get with it.
All right. Well, we got something on. Don't know what it is. Probably be a dove. It's not very big, whatever it is. Probably a little sculpin. Yeah, ooh, a big sculpin. Big old double ugly. Ugh. Look at that nasty guy. Still got my, well, kind of got my bait. There you go. I'll go that bait. <laughs> hey, got my bait back. Sculpin! Put my bait back on my jig. Now, if I get into a lot of those, I'll have to move. I'm using a bucktail jig, lead-headed jig, with a chunk of herring on it. Ugh. All right, let me get back at it. Wherever it is, it's small. It's coming up. This is a different kind here. Uh, oh, man. It's a pretty one. Pretty fish. Uh, let him flop around a bit, but. Pretty the yellow, how pretty yellow. Um, they say these are good eating. But this is the yellow one, but you can get them red too. I, and some people call them a cabbies on, I think. But they're a pretty fish, really. Hello! Let me go! And I still got my bait. A little better fish feels like it. Big old flounder. Big old flounder. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one, actually. Oh. Whoa, don't do that. Yeah, not too bad. Like that. That's another big northern rock sole. But I've got quite a bit of this in the freezer, so I'm after some. God! 
There you go. Over the side. It's a nice one. Whoa. Get me wet. Now I think I'm gonna move in a little closer over that way and try a little bit and see what happens. See what happens. with it long enough you get hung up. Oh yeah, it's got a little better. A little better. Could be just a big old flounder. Big car. That's what I was after. That's what I was after. Nice big car. Come here, you. Ah, he's not real big. That's what I'm after. That supper. Heck yeah. That's what I wanted. Nice big car, by God. Yeah. If I can get another one of them. That's what I wanted. Nice big cod. I still got my herring. There. Oh yeah, this feels good. Good. Oh yeah, it's a good fish here. Better. Be a small halibut. What is it? What is it? Boy, that is a big old flounder. Big. Might have to keep this guy. Yeah. There you go. That's a nice one there. That's a nice flounder. I think I'll keep that. 
and that cod I'm gonna get them on a stringer still got my bait I'll be right back come up little fishy come up little fishy I hope it's a cod Got one card. I'd like to have another one. Mr. Cord. Oh, it's a halibut. Nice little halibut. Between that card and this, guess what? There we go. Whoa, ouch. but go nuts when you get them in the boat. They just go flame nuts. That's a nice little chicky butt. This is what we call a chicken. <laughs> but, sorry about that. No. But, uh, but my things, these things hurt your hands. These howdy butts, so. Stop that. We'll be back. What we got? What we got? A fish. We got us a fish. What is it? What is it? What is it? Hey, stop that. A cod, maybe? Be a big cod. Come on now. Turn in the boat. It's another chicky halibut. Oh, now stop that. Stop that. Oh, another little chicken halibut. A little bit more. So, the old bucktail. Well, we're going to get out of here. Um, so we got a couple small chicken halibuts, plenty enough for a good batch of fish and chips and a yummy cod. But I think I'm going to head on in. I'll do a little filming on the way in. And it's a beautiful day out in the bay, I would say. We're going to head out.
look at the size of them cod. You talk fish and chips. Oh. Come on down, buddy. And. Oh. Yummy. Halibuts. Yeah. Them some nice cards. By gods. That's good eating there. Good eating. So I got some fish cleaning to do. I will be back. Well, okay. I hope that you uh, enjoyed the little fishing trip there. Um, I was not able to film all the fishing action because uh, that being your cameraman in a fishing boat and the fisherman and the boat driver well that's a little harder than it looks but I managed to get a few fish on film and uh, hopefully show you some of the beautiful scenery out there and all and uh, I did have a couple even bigger fish that, that I lost um, but, uh, yeah, trying to, I, I, and some of the video is going to be shaky, maybe blurry or whatever. I used, uh, um, I had to use several different cameras to, to try and make that all happen. Uh, and, uh, so I know some of the footage is not going to be that good and stuff with me trying to land a fish, run a camera and not fall in the ocean. You on a Stannis. So, um, and then I had some batteries die and thought I was filming stuff. You know how, you know how it is. But we, uh, managed to get some pretty good fish and we lost a few and the old DT-40 Zuki ran perfect, screaming beast. Um, love this motor. So, um, Again, a big heartfelt thank to thanks to all you for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. And hopefully the next time we get out in this here boat, I can catch a, a real fish. Um, something that I'm going to see if I can get one on film. I'm trying to set up my boat to see if I can get one that weighs in between 100 and 200 pounds and film it. So uh, they're out there. I've caught plenty of them. So. We'll try and get that on film, and if you want to see one of those big fish in a video, I have a video titled A Butt and a Bulldozer. Um, you can look at that video, and I think I got about a 150 pounder on there. So, um, we'll get one on film, or at least we'll try. And again, thank you for watching, and that's one more. Hi from Kodiak. Thanks for watching.